The Hines County Democratic Executive Committee has rejected District 2 Supervisor David Archie's call for a new election. Now, 12 News Senior Political Correspondent Richard Lake joins us now. And Richard, kind of walk us through what has been a weeks-long affair now. Yeah, absolutely. So Supervisor Archie lost re-election to Anthony Smith by over 1,800 votes in the August 8th primaries. Now, it was after this loss that Supervisor Archie claimed that there was a, quote, high-tech election heist and petitioned to have a redo election held. Hines County Executive Committee Chairperson Jacqueline Amos said in a ruling released this afternoon, quote, upon careful consideration and deliberation, the Hines County Democratic Executive Committee found said petition to be trivial and devoid of any merit whatsoever. District 2 Supervisor-elect Anthony Smith says the people have spoken. Supervisor Archie, on the other hand, says he was not surprised by this ruling. Hines County Democratic Party Executive Committee, of course, do not want to admit to their mistakes. And so, therefore, uh, we would move through um, a trial process through the courts and hopefully, hopefully, uh, that the judge would see it our way. If there was uh, high tech stealing in that one, it would have been in every other race. And nobody else complained. So, the people spoke. And that's what the people wanted. Archie filed suit against party officials, election officials, and others. On September 8th, this lawsuit alleges the Hines County Democratic Executive Committee failed to supply the necessary materials needed to conduct a ballot box review. According to Archie, he was only ever given the ballots and no secondary confirmation materials such as a voter signature book or digital thumb drives from the election machines themselves. And no date is set for that trial yet. Hines County Executive Committee Chairwoman Jacqueline Amos is among the defendants in that lawsuit.